Hello, and welcome to another edition of Long Beach Treasures. I'm your host, Harvey Keller. Today we're going to be talking with the true Long Beach treasure, Ed Killingsworth, noted architect who has designed some of the most beautiful buildings around the world. Mr. Killingsworth, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Harvey. And I noticed that these pictures up here, these are your works of art. Yes. Could you maybe just tell us what they are? Well, the one at the left here, at the top, that is uh, Elkhorn at Sun Valley, Idaho. That's a ski resort, which we finished a number of years ago. This is, the, down below, is the Cambridge Building, which has won all kinds of awards around the world. Matter of fact, it won first prize in competition with 50 countries. Now that's on Bixby Road, right? On Bixby Road, just off the Long Beach Boulevard. It's uh, really a very important building. As a matter of fact, it kind of shook up the whole world when it won first prize in competition with 50 countries. This is our beautiful Kahala Hilton Hotel, which we built 45 years ago. And it sold about uh, five years ago to uh, the Mandarin Hotels. And the Mandarin Hotels then asked us to go in <coughs> and uh, since it was 40 years old, it was a little tired and uh, dusty and so forth. And so anyway, they asked us to uh, redo it. And uh, so uh, we spent $70 million, $70 million renovating the Call of Hilton. We saved the chandeliers. I can't the believe the chan <coughs> something that large must weigh a, a ton. Yeah, they, they are very. Matter of fact, the new owners that wanted to get rid of them and uh, we had a real battle and I won. <laughs> and they're there, still there and the teak floors are still there. And then uh, below that is the Kapalua Bay Hotel and Kapalua Bay in Maui, Hawaii. It's a, it is one of our most beautiful hotels. The lobby is staggering. It's, it's 55 feet high and uh, really quite nice. Hotel here is the Halakalani in, as uh, matter of fact, that's in Waikiki in Honolulu. It's on five acres, kind of right in the heart of the, what we call the jungle there, and it's really a beautiful hotel. Last year, it was selected by Gourmet Magazine as the number one hotel in the world. Hmm. It, was the num it was the number one hotel. So we felt very pleased with that, and, and it's a beautiful hotel. It's if you ever get to Honolulu, make sure you see that one. Above that is the uh, case, one of the case study houses. That's the case study triad in La Jolla. The case study houses are very famous. And a matter of fact, we built them 40 years ago for Arts and Architecture magazine. And matter of fact, quite interesting, next Sunday, matter of fact, they are having a book signing. Matter of fact, they put out a new book which was published in Germany. It's in three languages on the case study houses, all the photographs. And the book is a real goodie because and it costs 150 bucks. Mm. And uh, I have a copy of it here for you to see. And, but this is one of the houses in it, which was called the case study triad. Why is it ca called case study? Well, the case, it was the Arts and Architecture magazine. <coughs> there was quite a story be before World War II Matter of fact, uh, it was almost impossible to build a modern house because the uh, insurance agencies and the uh, uh, people who loaned banks, they wouldn't loan money on a modern house, quote, modern, which had glass or it happened to have a flat roof or something, or it had open plan. So John Intenza, who had Arts and Architecture magazine, decided he was gonna change all of that. And uh, so he just selected a group of architects to have them build these houses. And then after they got them built, then they, matter of fact, they were each one of the houses is open for six weeks for the architecture profession to come and see. But this was, matter of fact, this was the uh, case study triad. It happened to be uh, three houses. Matter of fact, it was gonna be 80 houses originally, but these were the three prototype houses. And matter of fact, that's house B up there on the top, which is, Quite it was was quite a beautiful house, and the uh, it has a uh, uh, it is known worldwide as the one of the triad, and it, matter of fact, with this case study book is all on these houses. Matter of fact, there were 24 of them built, 
and fortunately, I, I designed six of them. <laughs> the, the They're beautiful. <coughs> this is another one of the key study houses here. This is house B. Matter of fact, matter of fact, yeah, that's the same house up there. And now you're looking at from house B down to house A. That photograph is from house A up to house B. But here you look for, or you're looking from house B down to house A. Now, off, way off in the distance there is Long Beach. This is La Jolla on the hills. I notice in most of these, or in a lot of these pictures, you have uh, water, reflecting pools. Yes. Uh, is that a signature of yours? Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, we, got, we enjoy water and the reflections. It's like our office building here. When we first built the office building, because we put in this pool, actually the water is only an inch and a half deep, but the bottom of the uh, pool is painted black, so you don't know how deep it is. <laughs> and uh, it really it makes a beautiful reflection. Was that for safety reasons? Yes, because I didn't want to come in on Monday morning and find a child drowned in the pool. And uh, so it's, it's only an inch and a half deep. So the women coming in over the stepping stones, they all are hanging onto the rails, I think they're going to fall <laughs> in, in the water. And I show them it's an inch and a half deep, and they feel very foolish. But, uh, <laughs> this is the Monolani Bay Hotel uh, and Resort, and uh, that's on the big island of Hawaii. And that's about five miles from the Mauna Kea Rockefeller Institution. But this is a uh, uh, quite a beautiful hotel, and it has uh, Quite a nice reputation. Matter of fact, they have four rooms there that rent at forty-five hundred dollars a night. Wow! A matter of fact, which are they're just beautiful, and rightly so. This is the probably the best project which we have designed in the office, and that was we did that forty-five years ago. Has down in the Naples area of Long Beach, and it's called the Optal House because. Dick Optal was the owner. He was a teacher in, here in town, and he and his wife. And the it's a, a beautiful house. It's on a 30 by 80 foot lot, and on Geneva Walk in Naples. That's small, isn't it? Yes, it's very small, tiny. But this shows what you can do on a tiny piece of property, and it has been it's been published. It's won every award I think in the world, and it's been published in probably every magazine, architecture magazine in the world. But it has been kind of been destroyed now because the owner who has it now went in and chopped it all up and did all strange things to it. But I was very unhappy. I should have bought it, but I didn't. So <laughs> and architects should buy all their buildings. <laughs> if you had that much money, I'd be fine. <laughs> Matter of fact, the building down below, just below this, is uh, that is a Balinese theater. And matter of fact, and that is in Jakarta, Indonesia. That's at our Jakarta Hilton Hotel, which we built in 75. It has about 1,200 rooms now. And this was out in the, matter of fact, it was in a, uh, it was an old polluted river, and we put, made it into a lake. And then we brought in the Balinese to, to do these buildings. We did the master plan, but I told them I wanted them to do the buildings because I didn't want to look like a Disneyland and I wanted them to have it authentic. So I brought in 300 Balinese, and they carved this, the, what you see there, they carved, and uh, it took them a year to carve that. Looking at that, you would think that came from the time of antiquity. No, I know it was one year, as a matter of fact, 300. Hmm. As a matter of fact, most of them were from 11 to 20 years old, these uh, incredible carvers. I have some, uh, some slides of them which are quite quite interesting. You have some models in the back. Did yes, we go yeah. take a peek at well, some of those? Let's take a look at this. Oh. This is one of the most famous of our houses. This is on, uh, this is another case study house. This is case study number 25. And it has, uh, matter of fact, that's down on the Rio Alta Canal. And uh, matter of fact, the, uh, that's on a 40 by 90 foot lot. And the, the olive tree is put there so that as you look across the can uh, canal, you don't see the kind of dumpy old houses across the way. Have I seen this statue somewhere today here? Yes, it's in the office. Matter of fact, we that this house we built for Ed Frank, a Frank Brothers Furniture, and he was matter of fact he he, built, he wanted a case study house, and so we built this for him on this lot. And uh, along the way, 
for years. I, <coughs> well, when he moved out of the house, he took that Rosenfeld piece of sculpture with him. <coughs> and uh, so I was always trying to buy it from him. So I finally, years later, bought it from him, and it, it is now in our reception room of our office out front. We can take a pic, uh, take a shot of that as we sure. go out. And uh, but this house has been is very very famous. That's a 17 foot door, and matter of fact. And how do you get a 17 foot door? That was quite a trick. And so matter of fact, everyone said I was crazy. And uh, so anyway, at that point. Uh, as I told the contractors, I looked at it, and I said, what I see is it's a very simple space, and actually an airplane wing would do it. So when we went to Northrop Aircraft, and they built the door, and 30 years later, matter of fact, when it, it all deteriorated from the salt air and so forth, they built us another door. <laughs> and uh, But it's uh, the reason it's that high, because it is important to the space when that door opens up, this space all opens with it. And now, having built all these buildings around the world and in Long Beach, do you have a favorite, or is that an unfair question? Are each of these, like uh, children, they're all your favorites? Oh, well, you can't very well pick one. This is one of my favorites, of course, and because it, it's, uh, it's had so much publicity. And uh, matter of fact, recently the publicity hit this magazine. This is a new magazine from Japan, and uh, matter of fact, it was Masterpieces 1945 to 1970, and you can see my name oh here. Oh yes. And the uh, and here here it is. 1961. Matter of fact, this this is the Ed Frank case study number 25. This is the house. It's, it's had a lot of publicity. Here it is again over here. This is the case study house book that I'm speaking of. From Germany? Yes. It's in three languages, matter of fact. And matter of fact. But here, this is the uh, house on Rivwalk. It's the same house here. And this, matter of fact, uh, when they published these, matter of fact, uh, they had to have a drawing of what the house was going to be, and this is my drawing of what the house was going to be, and this is the way it, it ended up. And uh, so, anyway, it's uh, quite a matter of fact. Here is the sculpture again you were asking oh, about. Yes. And uh, but it's matter of fact, as I said, next Sunday they're having the book signing of this book. And people are coming in from around the world uh, to uh, for this book signing. And, and where will that be? Uh, at MOCA, Museum of Contemporary oh, Art. In Long Beach. And no, 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 MOCA up in L.A. And oh. on Bunker Hill. And uh, so it's uh, it's going to be quite a deal. This is another one of my drawings here. But the uh, and here's the as you come in that tall front door. This is what you see when you come in this door here is what you see. It's really a very beautiful house. And uh, fortunately, mo most of our houses, uh, uh, after we've left them, several years later, they'll, they, they go into disrepair. But the, this, in this particular case, this house was, was in disrepair. But a couple happened to be walking by one night, and they saw it, and they fell madly in love with it. And so they bought it. And they have spent somewhere between three and four hundred thousand dollars, and uh, repairing it, putting a new roof on, and doing all the things which it needed through the years. And it looks uh, it looks now as good as it did the day it was uh, it started. This is the announcement of the uh, the book signing. Matter of fact, next Sunday. That's one of my drawings again. It is heavy, isn't it? Heavy and costly. 150 mm. bucks for a book. Hmm. But anyway, it, we've been very fortunate. To anyway, the now down here, in fact, this is a model of a hotel we we're going to build in Mexico City. We never got it built <coughs> because the owner got interested in Brazil. He followed his money into Brazil instead of Mexico. And so, but anyway, uh, 
We got a beautiful model and uh, a lot of nice memories out of it. It was an 800-room hotel on the reform lane in Mexico City. And uh, you, you had mentioned in the case study house the tall door. Yes. I, I just happened <coughs> to notice here, tall doors. Is yeah. this another signature piece? Yes. Yes, matter of fact, it's one of the things which I'm known for is the tall doors and the, uh, also for the glass and the, the in flow of uh, open planning and so forth and so on. So consequently, the, the, uh, the tall doors and the high ceilings are important. Tell me some of the things <coughs> that you've designed here in the city of Long Beach. The city hall library, if you know that. I do. And uh, matter of fact, and the terrace theater. If you know the Terrace Theater. I go there all the time. Yeah, okay, and the Performing Arts Center, as a matter of fact, uh, those were uh, two of my projects I was involved with. We had several other architects involved, but I was involved with the design of the, those two buildings mainly. Then we have been the master planning architects of Cal State at Long Beach for 40 years. My alma mater. Yeah, and, the, and it's, as you probably know now, it's a sea of pink blooms. Matter of fact, with all of the beech trees blooming out there. Matter of fact, one of the things I wanted to do to make it uh, very unusual is I planted 3,000 uh, uh, Helen Borchers, B O R C H E R S, flowering peach trees. And then through the years, we've added to those. Now we have 4,200 of them out there on the campus. Wow. And uh, so what I wanted to do was make this uh, so in the spring, kids would always remember the campus as pink <laughs> and it would be something very unusual and also the, no other city nor the government no no one paid out the this is all paid for by private citizens these are all donations uh, twelve dollars a tree and so forth and so on uh, it was an inspiration I got because we didn't have money to do uh, anything really very startling and so I told uh, I talked to Hank Ritter as you probably remember, Hank Ritter, who was head of the press newspaper. telegram, right? And uh, uh, the and Carl McIntosh, who was the president of the university at that time, and I talked them into this, and uh, I told them. And you probably remember Mac, Mac Epley, the writer. Yes. Well, Mac Epley, as a matter of fact, uh, did a story on the cover of the magazine about this, of the, of the, not the magazine, the paper, on the uh, matter of fact, on the flowering peach trees. And then I got Bix uh, Llewellyn Bixley to kind of front the thing, because <laughs> my name wouldn't mean anything. So anyway, Bix turned up with the idea that we'd plant these trees. So everybody got very enthusiastic. And so we raised the money to plant the trees, just $20,000. And uh, it was, uh, and that was uh, about 25 years ago. I was down there just, uh last week on my way to the rancho mm -hmm. and I saw all those beautiful pink trees in yeah, bloom. Yeah, they're, they're just, they're wonderful. Uh, as a matter of mm -hmm. fact, there's, I'm- Do they bear fruit? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. uh, well, sometimes there are a few of them will and that gets to be kind of a, a diff <laughs> diff <laughs> difficult thing. But anyway, but uh, we did several things out there to, uh, on the campus to make it important, but which wouldn't cost us any money. And one of them was the International Sculpture Symposium all the sculpture you see out on campus there. Matter of fact, we brought in 10 sculptors from around the world. And matter of fact, they worked on the campus for six weeks. And uh, matter of fact, and created the sculpture, we supplied all the materials. And it was a really a, it's kind of like, a, oh, kind of like Rome at the, the time of the, uh, matter of fact, all the wonderful things are happening there. But anyway, the, uh, but we brought in these sculptors from around the world to do this. And Is the pyramid yours? Uh, it was mine, the fact that uh, I'm the master planner and I'm involved with all the buildings on campus. Mm -hmm. But uh, actually, the architect was Hugh and Don Gibbs, as a matter of fact, in town here. And, uh, and the, uh, uh, but then I worked with them. As a matter of fact, the color is mine, as a matter of fact, and mm -hmm. all of it. But then, and then we shoved, as a matter of fact, when the neighbors were unhappy with it going in, we just shoved it around to <laughs> have it going in the right place and so forth. But we, uh, it's a, uh, but everything you see out there on the campus uh, has your signature on mine, it. As a matter of fact, yes. And as a matter of fact, we have that wonderful president now, called Matt Maxson, who really is it's just been just wonderful. So. Let's go look at some of your scale models. Sure. All right. Go ahead. 
Now, I know that you've closed down your architectural firm. What's going to happen to this building? Well, what we're taking is half the building will be made into an ex exhibit area of all of our architectural work and models and photographs and uh, uh, renderings and so forth. We have a lot of beautiful things. And uh, so consequently, we're going to m make this into an exhibit area uh, with all the explanations and so forth. And we'll have uh, videotapes and so forth of our work. And it should be very interesting. Then it'll be open to the public. And uh, so they can come and see all this work, which is really uh, otherwise, it'd be put away in a closet somewhere. I noticed there are a couple of models here of yes. your. Uh, yes, this is the. Uh, matter of fact, this one is the religious center at University of Southern California, and it's the. Uh, has, it was five uh, uh, denomination Protestant denominations, and uh, matter of fact, and it's really quite a beautiful building, and it it looks better than the model, curious enough, and uh, the. Um, Matter of fact, then. Can we give another plug to another Long Beach treasure? Because if I'm not mistaken, that's your wife, Laura, yes, in the that, picture. That's right. Another Long Beach treasure. Yes, she is a treasure. She's done 51 musical shows now. Matter of fact, and her last one was 42nd Street. And uh, matter of fact, that was last year out at the Carpenter Center. But the. Uh, and uh, she is singing better than she ever has in her life. Great. Which, which is wonderful. But this the, the picture you see there it was one at one of the case study houses when we were furnishing them. And she just hates that picture because it's, she didn't like what she had on. But <laughs> anyway, but it's, it's famous around the world. Everybody knows that picture around the world. <laughs> this, again, is the Princess Reform in Mexico City. And matter of fact, then down here, this is the University of California at Riverside, the Student Union Lounge at the, at the Student Union. And it's interesting, the kids uh, didn't want a big Barney place, they wanted something very intimate, so we start at 12 feet here and go up to 53 feet, a swooping roof, and it's, it's really quite nice, and then it, it has a copper roof on it, uh, which is aged very nicely. We have just a couple of minutes left. Could we run in real quickly and look at some of the uh, artist, artistic work uh, that was done by the children of Bali, I believe? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Now, where, where, where should we go? There's one in your, in your office. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, there's that a panel of four. All right. Let's go look at them. What's the uh, big picture on the wall here? That is the Kahala Hilton at the top, matter of fact, at the... And matter of fact, and there are planting beds there, and there's bougainvillea, which spills clear down the face of the building. It's uh, really quite beautiful. That's in Honolulu, of course. And off in the distance, you can see uh, Cocoa Head and Cocoa Head Crater, a couple of volcanoes. Mm. But it's... Uh, and it's these are the paintings, some of the paintings by, are these Balinese children? Yes. I, they call me a Bali nut because I love Bali so much. And we built the Bally Hilton there. I spent 20 years putting that together. And uh, while I was there, I got to know these, these children who were, had this young artist uh, school of painting. And uh, so I picked up these paintings while I was there. And uh, the, these were painted by a boy about 15 years old. And uh, then I have others around which are painted by even down to 10 years old. And the, Matter of fact, uh, they are really quite remarkable. What medium did he use? Oh, yeah, I... Uh, oil? Uh, no, no, it's not oil. I think it's... Uh, I, don't, I really don't know. Okay. Matter of fact, but he has the... Uh, matter of fact, the, there was a Dutch artist, actually. Of course, as you probably know, that the ballet uh, was, before World War II, was a Dutch and matter of fact, and uh, so consequently has a, quite a Dutch influence. And so after the war, a Dutch painter came into ballet and uh, he saw these wonderful, talented kids and he thought, well, gee, you know, it's too bad that they don't have the right colors and so forth. They were print, painting in the typical Balinese browns and blacks and umbers. And so anyway, he asked the ch well, some of the, the chiefs of the uh, village what uh, could he give them uh, a, a new palette of colors, but not let them see his paintings? 
And uh, they said yes, and so he gave them all these new colors, and he told them then, then take them home and paint. And that's, this is what they turned up with, these incredible paintings with all this new color. That's remarkable for a 15-year-old boy, isn't it? Oh, yes. Well, matter of fact, of course, I don't he's much older than that now, but it's, they are, uh, well, they're just, it's like the carvings, stone carvings you saw. Matter of fact, they do, matter of fact, uh, all these wonderful carvings, and they're just incredibly talented people and, and nice. Matter of fact, on this other wall over this here. This is a. Is this one of your designs over yes, here? Yes. Yes, that is. Uh, matter of fact, that's in Australia, and uh, matter of fact, and the one just below that is in Japan. That's Tomamo. It's a spa up on the on the uh, ski resort, and uh, matter of fact, and it's won a lot of awards. And the uh, and the other alongside of that, that's another shot of the same thing, but. I notice another painting on this wall. It's yeah, a completely yeah. different color. This yeah, is all yeah. blue. This is bright red. Yeah. Matter of fact, they're actually it's too bad they're not lighted a little better because that was that one. I'm very fond of that blue one, but it's uh, it has uh, a lot of character to it. But it's the uh, they have th these are it's a wonderful talent they have, and uh, whenever you have a chance to go somewhere around the world, go to Bali. Is Bali one of your favorite places in the whole world? Yes, yeah, Bali and Bangkok and so forth and so on. We have uh, done uh, uh, work in uh, Seoul, Korea, and matter of fact, Kuching, Borneo, uh, Jakarta, Indonesia, Bali, of course, and the uh, consequently we, but we have, and we, had, it's the, uh, uh, and Japan, matter of fact, we did the Tokyo Bay Hilton in Japan and which is at Disneyland, and uh, so we've been in most of them, and uh, mm -hmm. and we built in, uh, in, in Guam, remember we built the Okura Hotel in Guam, which is really quite beautiful, but the, uh, but we, we've been very fortunate, as a matter of fact, then in the United States, we have built the Phoenician Hotel over in Phoenix, as a matter of fact, which is, as a matter of fact, it was named as the number one hotel in the Northern Hemisphere by 20,000 travel agents. Matter of fact, it's, that's on the side of Camelback Mountain. Mm -hmm. And it was, matter of fact, we built it for this man, which everyone will probably know, is Charles Keating. <laughs> <laughs> and we worked with him for six years putting that hotel mm -hmm. together. It's a beautiful hotel, and uh, fortunately we got out of it before. I'm sorry we only have a half an hour because I could talk to you for well, a long, long time. Mr. Killingworth, thank you so much for joining me today well, because you. you certainly are a Long Beach treasure. Well, thank you. Well, it's nice of you to come in. <laughs> Be sure and come back next month as we take another walk through history and uncover more Long Beach treasure.